dozens arrested for storming into the U.S., but the 42 people handcuffed in this weekend's melee won't face federal charges. And good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Lindsay Pena in for Kimberly Hunt. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is live in San Ysidro, and U.S. officials say they can't get them in front of a judge fast enough. Border security agents were ready for it. The moment a group of migrants broke through the border fence and tried to force their way into the U.S., tear gas sent them retreating back into Tijuana. 42 people were arrested, but none will be charged, according to a Justice Department official, because they couldn't get them in front of a judge within the required 24-hour period after arrest. The reason? A massive backlog in the processing system. Definitely some practical matters here. And Ev Mead is the director of the Transborder Institute at the University of San Diego. He says he wouldn't be surprised if the judge just decided it was too much trouble for too little gain. I can very much see the government actually just conceding and kind of throwing in a towel and saying, look, it's not like we have some super serious charge here. It's going to take a while to mark the evidence and use a bunch of resources. Meanwhile, we're going to keep this person in the United States, um, whom we could probably just remove anyway. It comes as the chief border agent, Rodney Scott, posted this picture on social media. Rocks were thrown at law enforcement, and these rocks were supposedly placed by instigators at the border ahead of Sunday's chaos. Meade says the migrants would have likely faced charges of threatening officers, vandalism, and illegal entry, none of which carry heavy sentences. Illegal re-entry, you know, where you're actually ordered, rem removed, or deported from the United States by a judge and then you violate that order, that's a more serious charge that can get you uh, a couple of years in jail, uh, but illegal entry is not. And that was Anthony Perra reporting.